one is me. Look, this is my feel unique haul, I guess you could say. The part I'm most excited about is it is products from Zoella Beauty and Tiny Bear Cosmetics and everybody loves that so without further ado I will rip open the box let's hope you can hear me <laughs> am I filming oh yeah it's okay it's okay um so I've got a few things in here I have actually already opened this and I have used a few of the products because I kind of wanted to give you um, like more knowledge like the products on the website say yep this is what it is this is what it looks like here's a picture but I was quite surprised at some things and the first thing that I opened was this wee pouch from Zala Beauty it's the one with the lace collar so I really like it and it's like a metallic navy blue I don't know if that's picking up um now this is actually a lot smaller than I thought um TMI but I actually keep sanitary towels on this one so it's about the size of sanitary towel ladies um yeah I love it it's got the wee zip and the pink on the top and then it's got sort of like a peachy lining to go with her other stuff. Um, so I like that it's smaller than I thought. I've got the perfect use for it. And I do. I use it every day and it makes me smile. And it makes me smile. And it makes me smile. The next thing I opened, well I didn't open, I saw was this. Um, it's the hand cream from Zoella Beauty. And... Because every time you see it in a video of hers like this, you see this picture and you, it actually looks very small. So, when I did open up the box, which says, be the best version of you, and then you open the other one and it says, high five! Um, anyway, I pulled this out and thought this was huge. Um, so, there's sort of my fingers... I don't know how to explain how big this is, but 90 millilitres, like, I found that hard to imagine, and I'm not sure it told me on the website or not, I can't remember, but anyway, um, now, the smell of this is so different to what I thought it would be, I haven't obviously had the chance to walk into a super drug or anything to smell them, before buying um because I'm in New Zealand and yep sadly we have to pay for shipping um one thing I thought was cool was the wee cap it's sort of octagonal so really easy to open even if you have just put hand cream on your hands uh, the next thing the seal was very hard to break off I still haven't managed to completely do it because it is glued down that sucker's glued down because it is glued down that sucker glued down um i tried to get the scissors but i didn't want to ruin the product i usually do like a wee nail size and then you just rub it in and it does dry quite quick and i don't know how to describe what it smells like um on here it does say scented with a calming feminine fragrance but stuff like the shea butter and the aloe vera will be coming through that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. And I haven't thrown out the box yet because it's pretty. So, moving on. Scrubbing me softly. Body scrub. That's what it looks like. And this is amazing stuff. This is from her Tutti Fruity range. And I love the smell of this. Like... This is exactly what I was hoping it would smell like, which is like, yeah, just really fruity, kind of like strawberries and something, um, not cream, I don't know. It does say, enriched with acai and blueberry, so I might be completely off with the strawberry, <laughs> but as you can see, I have used it, you can kind of see my finger marks in there, um, so it's like... It is a sugar scrub, which is good, and it's a really sort of sticky um, consistency, but it's like, 
I don't know, once you've massaged it in a wee bit more, the sugar really does its job. And I actually, the first time I used it, I made red marks on my legs because obviously I exfoliated a bit too hard. Unless that's what you're meant to do. I don't want to scrub six layers off. I just want to scrub the dead skin cells off. So yeah, and those wee beads, um, I think they're dissolvable. But again, I could have just made that up. So yeah, I've only used it a few times, but I do love it. It does make your skin feel really smooth. And also the smell is just like, ugh, you just smell like it for a good couple of days. And it's just, yeah, it's nice. It's very moisturising as well, so that's cool. Really impressed with that. And I was kind of expecting it to be about this size. I don't know. I, I think weird thoughts. We all know that. Um, so it says 280 grams, so I think it's pretty good for the price. I can't exactly remember the prices of stuff, but I thought it was quite reasonable. Um, especially because on Feel Unique, you actually get, if you spend more than £10, you get free shipping. Which, for New Zealand, shipping to New Zealand from the UK, like, that's so good. So good, because things cost so much money to get here. Um, and it only came within two weeks of me pushing order, it was arriving at my door. I was very, very excited. Okay, so the next thing I ordered is from Tanya Bear. Here it is, it's her lip gloss in the new style. Um, this colour is called I Found Nemo. It's sort of a coral and not something I would usually pick, to be honest. I kind of just liked the name and because I've watched Tanya's vlogs when she came up with a name she told us and it was all exciting um and obviously with the relaunch of her new shiny packaging which looks really good um yeah I just thought why not and I only bought one because I wasn't sure of like the consistency if I was gonna like it I am probably more of a lip gloss girl than a lipstick girl I do actually really like this but i found you, like, if you have a tiny bit of dry lips, it doesn't look the best. It's quiet when I don't talk. I don't know if that, if you can tell, but... Mm. That shows I can't put on lip gloss without getting up nice and close. Anyway, so that is a pretty colour, um... And the more you put on, the more colour that comes out. But it is quite pigmented, which I like. Moving on. Last one. Yep. Oh, I've just got these things everywhere. It's like snow. It's nothing like snow. Look at them. Oh, listen to that. Okay. I'm weird. Um, I did splash out on this one. I can't remember the price, but I obviously didn't think it was too bad. And actually, they were having a deal, uh, three for two. So, definitely check out theirs. But this is it. It is her Tanya Burr Cosmetics, like, makeup bag. And this is pretty good. Like, I, it's the, it's not the kind of glitter that comes off, like this tree. It's like got the plastic layer on top and then it's got like wee stars um and it has the wee Tanya Burr logo as well which is really cool um and then obviously it has a sort of gold yeah gold zip with pale pink around the edge which is actually the same as this except for it's got a different colour slightly different peachy pink on the Zoella Beauty one so this does come with a few products inside it, and I will show you them. So, there are two lip glosses. So this one, this pink here, is called, let me see, Carousel. And it's a really nice pink, and comparing it with um, the full product, um, it is like quite smaller, so... The full product is 7.5ml and these ones are 5ml. 
So there's not actually that much difference, but um, slightly different packaging as well. This one's sort of um, rounded, and this one has got quite sharp edges. I don't know if that makes a difference on your lip gloss purchasing, but anyway. Um, this pink is quite strong, so I'll just swatch it. Oh, it's not really coming up. Second lip gloss that came in it, which was pretty much the real reason I decided to get this, because I just thought it was cool. It's like, it looks silver in there, but it's actually a clear gloss, I think. And this one is called Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. So I could probably put it over the top of this one, but I'm not going to. I'll just... Yeah, see, so you can't really tell. Um, I doubt this will come up on camera, but you can see it above the pink kind of just. I will quickly mention, though, the thing I like about these Tiny Bear lip glosses is they have, like, a good close on them. So they close up nice and tight, sort of click into place, and they will not leak in your bags. Um... These ones are a little different. They still have the click, but I feel like the full product ones are tighter. The last product you get in here is a wee shimmer pot. I know a shimmer pot, and this one is called Chandelier. And I haven't actually used this one at all. Brownie. Yeah, that's showing up pretty well, although it's stuck to the lip gloss, which isn't good. If I mix it in with the lip gloss, looks kind of like that which is a really nice color on my skin actually um not too orange because obviously my hair is but like really really shimmery i'm really impressed i'm gonna take this off my head though so that is it part and obviously this is the inside just that pale pink again um it will fit your makeup brushes and everything in it don't worry about that like it is plenty wide enough in fact this one fits inside and zips up easy. So if you want to put Zoella in Tanya, oh, why do I say stuff like that? And on that note, it is time to say goodbye. If you want to see more from my Christmas uh, decorations and what is all over my floor, you have to check out my Christmas video. Um, don't know when I'm going to film that, but I definitely do want to film that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a few weeks now, but as I say, I did want to try some of the products before I explain to you like what I got. Um, so basically, overall, great recommendation. Smells amazing. Um, I am probably a wee bit more impressed with Zoella's stuff, but, um, still, Tan's a lovely lady. I'm gonna stop filming. I've been recording for 16 minutes, non-stop talking, except when I put lip gloss on. So, bye for now!